राशि स्टार्ट Imagine a scenario where we didn't have a particularly cutting edge technology. Would staying safe and getting quality schooling simultaneously be conceivable? Good morning one and all present here. I, Rashi Mishra, alongside my co-compares Ujwal Singh and Soumya Singh, invite you all to this junior English debate. In today's world, technology has become an essential part of life. It has made life convenient and comfortable both for schools as well as students. It has made education possible in a situation where we can't meet and are just staying at home. But again, everyone present here has a different opinion about the online classes and the technology being used. So, today we are here to discuss on this very topic. Technology has replaced books completely. Discussing and debating abilities of a person is a vital piece of an individual's conversational skills. Testing one's question asking and opinion posing capacity, just as the thinking and the translation of the subject to think upon. When the students become adapted to the new and famous method of online conversation, they acquire certainty and find their own fluency in thinking and speaking. Despite this, character improvement is additionally observed. Before we begin today's event, I would like to introduce today's judges to the audience. Our institution is highly honored to have Sunita Singh Ma'am as our first judge today. She has worked as a principal in MJ Activity High School and Grammar Academy in the span of six years. She is likewise the founder of Kids Paradise School in Kaushalpuri Colony. Poonam Sood Ma'am is the second judge in today's program. She hardly needs any introduction. She is an Indian creator known for her distributed work in different magazines and collections, including some honor-winning satires and stories. She is also the founder and chairperson of Gulzar Sahitya Samiti and vice president of Mahila Kavya Manch of Ayodhya section. Division of Social Welfare of Madhya Pradesh recently awarded her the first prize for national poetry competition held by the Arushi organization. Apart from this, she is also effectively engaged in coaching and inspiring growing lady scholars by providing them a stage to feature their talent. Lastly, our third judge for today's debate is Anita Shukla Ma'am. She comes from a defense family background. Her formative schooling began in Agra, Bhopal and Bangalore. She is a graduate from Guru Nanak Dev University of Amritsar. She did her post-graduation in Hindi from Punjab University and post-graduation in English from Rohit Khand University of Bareilly. She has a teaching experience of more than 18 years now. On the behalf of JB Academy, we welcome you all to in today's event. Now, let me introduce you with the rules of today's event. Two speakers will represent each house, one speaking for the motion and the other against the motion. Each speaker will speak for three minutes. A warning bell will be rung after two minutes. No inaccurate facts are to be presented by the participants. If so, there will be negative mark. Moving on, there will be a two-minute rebuttal round where the participants will ask questions to the speaker. The speaker is supposed to answer the questions. Straying off the topic is penalized. It is highly important to avoid any use of unparliamentary language. The speaker might not be satisfied or might not want to agree with the views of their opponent, but they have to ag agree with them and address them accordingly. The criteria for judgment today will be on the following basis. Content, 10 marks. Articulation, diction, 5 marks. Pronunciation, expression, 5 marks. Rebuttal, 5 marks. And time limit, 5 marks. For the total of 30 marks. Before the commencement of the program, I would like our participants to introduce themselves one by one to the judges and our audience.
Good morning, all. This is Shraja Singh representing Texila House, and I will be speaking for the motion that technology has completely replaced books. Good morning, one and all present here. I, Ojas Pandey of Takshila House, is here to speak against the motion on the topic technology has completely replaced books. Furthermore, the participants of the Ajanta House are requested to introduce themselves. Good morning to all. Myself, Muhammad Pradhan Sheikh, and, and I am representing the Ajanta House, and I will be speaking for the motion. Good morning, everyone. Here I am Shakti Sara Ojha of Class 8D, and I am representing Ajanta House. And here I'll vocalize against the motion. Now, I would like the participants of Sanchi House to come forward and give their introduction. Good morning, everyone. I'm Anika, representing Sanchi House, and going to speak for the motion. Good morning, everyone. Myself Shivansh Pandey from AC, representing Sachi House. I will be speaking against the motion. Lastly, participants of Nalanda House are also requested to introduce themselves. Good morning, everyone. I am Bhavesh from Class 8C, and I will be speaking for the motion. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jean Sina. I will be speaking from Nalanda House against the motion. Thank you all for your cooperation in the introduction. Now, I would like to call our first participant, Shrija Singh of Takshila House, to give her speech for the motion. Thank you, Rashi. Perfectly quoted by Michael Gatineau. Technology makes what was once impossible, possible. Technology in this recent era has gained so much popularity that it has become a part of our livelihood, isn't it? Come on, we live in the 21st century, where one barely gets any time to press the pause button of their, li of their daily life and anticipate what all the technology has actually contributed us. Now, nah, I'm not here talking about the smart devices and all. Here I'm pointing on the word internet. Yes, the word internet is taken as a boon for majority of us, but also as a curse for many. Do you think, what do you think? Personally, if you ask for my opinion, I think it has been. Because imagine yourself in the present state without technology or internet. Oh my God. All our careers would have been ruined. Not just our careers, our lives would have been ruined. But that doesn't mean tech is better than books. Yes, I agree with the point that books give you more accurate knowledge. But they are very much infinite, they are finite. What about the internet? It has n number of information regarding your search within seconds. Brightly said by someone, it's still a magic until it's done. Can you tell me if any of our ancestors were alive? Would they believe the fact that we have worldwide knowledge in our hands within a click? No, at least not mine. I must also utilize this present condition as an example. Why? Because it has altered us a lot, so much so that we could have possibly survived the pandemic, but not our studies without this technology. I am sure that technology will take over the books in the upcoming centuries, not just because it is self-sufficient and time saver, but also because it is portable, easy to access, smarter and faster. We are the ones who have to think how can we use technology as a boon, not a curse. Thank you. Judges, please note that this participant has taken 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Thank you, Shrija, for addressing your views to us. In today's world, it's becoming a truth that technology is making things possible making the impossible things possible. Now, the participants can put up their questions for the rebuttal round. Reem, you may proceed with your question. Thank you, Jewel. Shuja, you said that you can get an endless information on internet. And, but, I think that with internet, you can also get the wrong information as there are thousands of sites. What's your backup on that claim? 
Okay, first I said that, uh, you know, books uh, give us more accurate knowledge and like internet doesn't, but it gives us a lot of knowledge. It's us who have to verify also at, and just like go for the more variable sites, more trustworthy sites, you know, have to do quite that's what, the, that's what the problem is. Like there are so many sites that are not verified and it becomes really difficult to see that which one is true and which one is false. Like nowadays, many false uh, news are spread. What's the claim? We should we should actually like verify it a lot of time. Like use a lot of web websites. The one which carries like the same information that must be right. I hope you're getting. Okay. Thank. Welcome. Next, I would like to call Otis Pandey of Takshila House to deliver his speech against the motion. Rightly quoted by someone, books are the best company in sad time and happy time. For books are people who have stayed alive by managing their time between the covers of a book. Good morning, one and all present here. Today, I, Ojas Pandey of Takshila House, am here to present my views against the topic technology has completely replaced books. Computers can never replace books. However useful the computers be, it is absurd to imagine it being replacing by books. Computers are far more costly than books. Not all sections of society can afford a computer. Earlier, People like to sleep with the book, but nowadays they are more on to sleep with the mobile phones. The feel which comes by taking the book in our hand, reading it, will never come on virtual screens. The information which comes in the virtual screens are not fully reliable. They are reliable. I am not saying that they are not reliable. They are reliable, but they are not fully reliable. But the information which are on the book, they are more authentic and authorized by many people. By reading book, we increase our imagination power. Nowadays, the most important thing in a student life is to be away from the distractions. But reading online, there are huge probability of getting distracted. By reading books, we develop mental health. It reduces anxiety, a stress level, soothes our inner soul, and it naturally develop our personality and self-confidence. In one study, it is proved that a student who learned from the textbooks uh, learned, be learned better than those students who learned from uh, digital devices. At last of my speech, I want to include that Books give the soul to the universe, wings to the mind, flight to the imagination, and life to everything. Thank you. Judges, please note that this participant has taken 2 minutes and 22 seconds. Thank you, Ojas. Appropriately said by you that books are the best company of people in sad time, and in the happy time, people are for books. Interested participants are now allowed to ask their questions in the rebuttal round by raising their hands. Bhavesh, you may ask your question. Thank you, Jill. Ojas, as you said that information is in book is more authentic, but information vary in different books. You know, that uh, two books can have different information, such as they have different data. So what do you think? They can have this different information because they are of different. Uh, their m motto is different. What they want to say, they they are they are they are different. I'm saying that if a book has the data that the height of Mount Everest is eight thousand feet, another book is saying that it's eight thousand five hundred. A third book is saying it's eight thousand seven hundred. So I'm saying that books also vary the data. Sites also vary the data, and books also vary the data. It's not that books only prevent the uh, books only give us the authentic information. As I said, they are authorized by many people. So if there are three books, so the people are also there to authorize them. If there uh, the, if there is some mistake, so they will authorize them. 
okay thank you moving on we have mohammed faizan sheikh of ajanta house and i and i request him to deliver his speech for against the motion technology is not technology is not just a tool it can give learners a voice that they may not have had before a very hearty welcome to one and all present here today i am here to speak in the favor of technology has replaced books completely we all are living in an advanced 21st century and in this we almost can't pass off our day without technology rightly said it is not that we use technology we live technology now you all tell me if on one side a mobile and on other side a book is kept which one will you choose obviously the majority will go with the mobile because now everyone has been habituated to mobile and as the as these days people need uh, different the uh, as these days people need uh, uh, entertainment do different works and play but they are also lazy so now whom they will thank of course technology and why not after all it provides us with each and everything just sitting anywhere eyes work more than ears is the mantra behind the widespread usage of these tools the digital learning is user friendly self explanatory and makes the process more interesting as we know computers have already taken a major role as an major role as an informational resource today computer technologies such as hypertext and internet will remove the geographical constraints of print media and allow for a new method of distributing and reading documents books will always be an affordable and concrete source of information but the next 10 years will bring the computers which are faster to access as convenient to use and that hold more information than books now you all tell me how many trees are used to make books you will say 1 lakh 3 lakh or maximum 10 lakh but you are wrong according to a survey uh, an estimated 30 million trees were used uh, or cut down last year in the production of books now let me know now let me know is it not the cause of wildlife extinction thanks to technology which has saved so many trees and helped nature to retain its beauty by inventing e-books soon the computers will have screen that are crisper and more comfortable to view than a printed book with the new technology the computer screens will no more strain the eyes will no more strain the eyes and will become feasible and desirable and desirable to read an entire novel on a computer screen now i am taking a now i'm concluding my topic by saying technology gives the student key that opens door and releases their creativity thank you judges please note that this participant has taken 3 minutes and 20 seconds thank you fazan this was an accurate interpretation of your opinion for the motion technology is not just a tool it can give learners a voice that they may never have before it's time for the rebuttal round now participants can now raise their hands and ask their questions oh just you may ask your question fazan as you said in a point of your speech that there are many trees cut down but with the radiation which comes from the mobile that also harms the birds many many birds die because of that radiations many animals too yeah i agree with your point uh, but uh, but the wild when the wildlife will be uh, will also become extinct so uh, with including birds also all the animals will also be extinct so this uh, so this is more disadvantage of a printed book okay i agree with your point Reem, you are next. You can ask your question now. 
Thank you, Ajwal. Azan, first of all, you have no data to prove that the mostly people will choose phone over books. Second thing, you said that as others ask, the trees are cut for the books, but trees are also cut to build network network towers. Yeah, uh, you are right, but not as much trees are cut uh, like uh, the than the trees which are cut for in for the production of books. And you said uh, that uh, uh, you have no data that everyone will go. Mo most of the person will go with the mobile. But you, uh, I have I have uh, done a live example and saw that ma majority was going with the mobile. As now the people you know that are becoming lazy. Lazy because uh, of this COVID-19, we all are locked up in our homes, and we just need entertainment and uh, play or do different works in our home. So, uh, home will you thank? Of course, the technology, na. So you are saying technology is making people lazy. Okay, thank you. Hope you got some answer. Coming up next is Shakti Sara Ojha of Ajanta House. and i request her to give her speech against the motion which is better books or technology rightly quoted technology is a useful servant but a dangerous master technological innovations are most most remarkable inventions of the era one of the most adapted technological contrivance is an ebook it is a book publication which is available in digital forms they serve a dominant purpose in the online world from contrasting perspectives ebooks ensure that students are proactively interacting with the learning materials predictably ebooks have assisted the students during this lockdown more than ever before but will technology be able to replace the books completely no rightly said by stephen king books are a uniquely portable magic i accept that with ebooks student benefit from a more relaxing approach but in spite of all these advantages there are certain affairs which make a book more portable than technology affordability the affordability factor plays a major role in the indian education sector as compared to ebooks printed books are more affordable now why are ebooks prices so high the ebooks are expensive because the book publishers are paying higher royalties on ebooks due to self publishing health issues there have been numerous scientific studies which prove that reading books are positive for your brain and easier on your eyes whereas ebooks causes eye strain adaptability are books more beneficial or technology what do you say rightly said a book there is no friend as loyal as a book printed books allow student to amplify the joy of reading it improves vocabulary pronunciation reading comprehension and even our writing skills focus and concentration reading books improves your ability to visualize complex concepts do you know even einstein also used to visualize his concepts and theories of sun and stars in his mind and then he experimented and concluded that what was and what was impossible last but not the least and the most important first went to surveys out of 265 people 10% which means it would be around 26 people prefer ebooks and 40% which is around 106 people read only printed books that means printed books are more preferred and also 230 million indians went into poverty due to covid in that case how can you just expect a child to study from a smartphone when there is difficulty in arranging two square meals thus i just don't think so technology can near replace books as no matter how advanced it gets books will be always a source of mental peace and mental satisfaction thank you judges please note that this participant has taken 3 minutes and 3 seconds Thank you Shakti for sharing your views on the topic. It is very true that technology is at its best only if used properly. Improper use of technology can be harmful. Interested participants are now requested to ask their questions in the rebuttal round.
Yeah, so Shakti, uh, thank you, Ujwal. Shakti, you said that books cost, e, uh, the e-books are costlier. But when you look up at the websites, you will see that e-books are actually cheaper. Uh, minimum 200, 300 rupees. They are cheaper because they do not the because they do not consume the paper. And also the price for transportation and the packaging is omitted. So what do you think? Uh, Bhavish, I want to I want to say on this that uh, you all must be thinking that ebooks are cheaper, but no. Nowadays, at all are dependent on the online classes, so ebooks are needed. So that's why the book publishers are paying higher royalties on ebooks. For example, a typical publisher will pay around twenty five percent of net or eighteen percent of the retail price for an ebook to the author. But this price is much higher than the price which is for a print book, which is 7.5% to 10%. And this is a very large factor that makes an ebook expensive than print books. Okay, I agree. Thank you. Now, Sachi House participant Anika is requested to come upon and give her speech for the motion. Truly said that we need technology in every teacher and student's hand because it is the pen and paper of our time. It is the lens through which we experience much of our world. Good morning, one and all present here. I, Anika, representing Sachi House, am here to speak for the motion on the topic, technology has completely replaced books. Technology refers to various skills, techniques, and methods used for the process of production or services. It is important to us because education, communication, and work is almost impossible without it. And because of this only, India is moving towards digitalization. Digital availability has taken a major role in information and education resource and it is replacing books day by day. As we talk about books, so the books we witness in shops now completely available as ebooks and other apps also. We can read them in form of PDFs and PPTs and whatnot. If we have to find some information about the book, we always prefer internet because on internet, abundant use of information is there by millions of people. But making space for books is just a headache. For example, so many shelves, so many tables, but for a device which contains millions of books in it is lesser than a book's space also. As we can see today, people are attracted towards social media and games in comparison of reading books. How technology is important to us, we can observe this and relate this with the current situation as our education system is working because of technology advancement. We are learning in safer environment because of technical devices. And if we talk about books, so at the starting of the pandemic or now also, students are not able to arrange few of the books. So a question might come that how those students might be studying. Answer is that the students are studying from internet because every question's answer is available on internet. But when we talk about technology, devices, and internet, a question might come for our eyes. So I may inform you that in coming few years, devices will no longer strain our eyes and will be easily able to read the whole novel or watch a bigger movie on it. At last, I want to say that the books will be the things of past in the future. So make a change and be a change. Thank you. Judges, please note that this participant has taken 2 minutes and 39 seconds. I strongly agree with you, Anika. Technology gives us a chance to explore the whole wide world. It gives us a chance to communicate to anyone, anywhere. And since communication is a very important part of learning, technology helps us do that very easily. Whereas books are just limited. You might just get to read one person's opinion in one book. But on a website, you might get to read 10 billion people's views. With this being said, I would like interested participants to ask their question for the rebuttal round.
Yes, Reem, you may proceed with the question. Thank you, Rashi. I have noticed that you have not acknowledged the problem of overexposure. For example, you said that nowadays people are spending a lot of time on social media. Don't you think students are getting distracted by this? And they are having a big trouble separating the time computer for learning and computer for playing. Yes, you are correct that students are getting attracted towards internet, towards devices. But my uh, point of view was that people are getting attracted towards social media. They're uh, attracted towards Instagram, YouTube, games like Fire, uh, like PUBG and uh, etc. They are getting attracted towards that in comparison of reading books. So what about you saying that what will happen if the students, people get addicted to this technology? What will happen then? They'll become lazy, won't they? They will become lazy or not. It depends on them. If they balance their life and internet together, it's good for them. OK, thank you, Anika. Next, Shivansh from the Sachi House is requested to give his opinion on the topic against the motion. Truly said by Mark Zuckerberg, books allow you to fully explore a topic and immerse yourself in a deeper way than most media do today. A book is a device that lights imagination and creativity in ourselves. But nowadays, the technology has started serving the e-content. So here the question comes, that has the technology completely replaced the books? My answer to this question is, no, the relaxation, peace and satisfaction that we get by reading a book cannot be obtained by the smartphones and computers. The books reduce stress, strengthen our brain and improve our concentration power, whereas we can get neck cramps by using the smartphones regularly. They also badly affect the eyes and can lead to many eye disorders too. The books are the only option for the people who are not much literate so that they can operate computers and other devices. Also, the economically backward sections of the society cannot afford to buy the expensive smartphones and computers, so books are more durable for them. The books are durable too, as there is no chances of the year getting broken down, whereas computers can be crashed or hacked by the hackers, which becomes an, which distracts our mind too. Also, the e-content can be tampered and anyone can change the content, because of which I will never get to know the original content. So a book somehow has a belongingness too. Besides, physical books can be shared very easily, whereas sharing of e-books brings up the issues of copyright infringement and the risk of virus. Also, sometimes because of less battery, the wires get discharged or switched off, which causes distraction while the reading. Moreover, the popping out of notifications and something more flashy can steal the attractions of the student while reading an e-book on the internet. Another big advantage that lies with the books is that they are professionally put together by the academic professionals. The content is organized in a logical manner and checked for accuracy. Whereas smartphones and computers give students a free reign, letting them stray from a teacher's planned lesson and allowing them to access the wrong information too. The e-content available on the internet cannot be read by the blind students. So how will they read? Yes, they can read by the Braille books in which they can recognize the words by touching them. Moreover, the books are economically important too, as they give jobs to several people for opening stationery shops. Hereby, I would like to conclude my speech that the overall health of a literature is not determined by its platform. The devices are not dangerous for literature. People can be dangerous for literature. People, for example, who do not read. Thank you. Judges, please note that this participant has taken 2 minutes and 43 seconds. In fact, Shivansh, you truly, you truly said that technology can be addictive. But there's no better addiction than a book. If you're addicted to books, you're prone to read. And there's no better addiction than reading a book. In fact, a book will never lead you up to a wrong path where you, where you are not owed to be. But, but a technology could. One might surf on other websites while studying. One might be using and chatting with friends whilst taking the classes. And once someone comes to check, they might switch back to the tab. 
which is a loss of the students again. But a book will never do so. With this being said, I would like interested participants to raise the question for the for the rebuilt round. I repeat, participants may ask their question for the rebuttal round. With these words in mind, I would like to call Bhavesh from Nalanda House to give his speech for the motion. The evolution of man is the evolution of his consciousness, and consciousness cannot evolve unconsciously. The evolution of man is the evolution of his will, and will cannot evolve involuntarily. We humans evolved and created technology, which in the form of gadgets and applications has percolated in every sphere of our life and now it has replaced our primary source of information books good morning judges and friends today i bhavesh am here to speak for the motion technology has completely replaced books first i want to ask my friends a question how many of us have a library at home none or very few but i am sure that most of us have a device if we start technology with textbooks does the content really change? The answer is no. Only the medium of information dissemination changes and that's why people are choosing the medium which is more convenient. Having a single laptop is far more user oriented than having multiple books and binders. On the laptop, you can highlight and annotate important textual knowledge and easily share it. It is even easier and faster to source knowledge on a laptop than in a book. The ability to access information has suddenly become more ubiquitous throughout the planet. Second, if we want any information, for example, research on our integrated yearly projects allotted in our school, I'm sure that we would not refer books, whether paperback or electronic, but would browse the web, another phase of technology. The perpetual rise in the number of ebook users, ebook markets, and the publishers going digital proves the changing trend of people preferring technology over books. Again, my friend would say that books give us gratification. But how many of us spend time with books nowadays? Almost everyone is happy watching the TV or playing on screen. Even small kids enjoy listening to audio stories. Another point to be noted is that e-books are safe for the environment as they do not require paper. The fuel for transportation purposes is omitted and the packaging plastic is not required. I'm proud to say that in three years, from 2006 to 2009, over 200 million ebooks were sold by sites such as Project Gutenberg, which provided free ebooks. In the end, I would like to say that one book descended from parchment, and parchment descended from papyrus scrolls, and papyrus scrolls descended from stone tablets, and so on. If the cycle is uniform, this step is a technological step. Thank you. Judges, please note that this participant has taken two minutes and 44 seconds. I would like to say something about Bhavish said. Of course, books are not so convenient to carry along with you everywhere you travel. If you have to read a book written by a famous author, you have to carry about a kg of weight or maybe 500 of way, which again increases the load while you're traveling and is not so feasible. Many of us wouldn't want to carry a book along with us while we're traveling simply because it increases weight. But everyone carries a mobile phone in their pocket, which is no heavier than maybe a gram or so. And it's and again, it gives us a plenty of knowledge, not just limited ones. With this said, I would like interested participants to raise their question for the rebuttal round. Actually, you may proceed with your question. Mahavish, as you said that uh, in e-books, we do not need to cut any of the trees. 
but the towers which we build the electric towers they need to clear the land first and then we build on this so what is your opinion on that the electric towers are built once that a one that that's a one time investment and now government has made the decisions to regulate the number of electric towers if we make a electric tower suppose i make a electric tower in one place i will make it for one soon but if we use the trees we need to cut trees every year every week for making books yeah okay i satisfy with your answer but the radiations which is the tower throw they cause the birds and if the birds like some animals eat the birds also like fox eagles and all so they do not get food and if the animals will not be there so the wildlife it will be affected and then we will be also also affected because the ecosystem is interdependent yeah i agree and i would like to say the same for books books also and consume paper so that would uh, damage the environment and nowadays the government is also taking steps to control the regulations okay i satisfied with your answer thank you okay Shivanshu, Lastly, Bhavish, as you said that we can uh, highlight the important lines on the smartphones and computers, but we can highlight uh, them on the books too. Yeah, I'm satisfied with the point. But the thing is that uh, books have a tiny, have a lot of information and it's in a tiny print. So if we try to mark things in a book, it would get messy and it would be tough for us to mark. But If we, it could also damage the page. So the rebuttal round is over. Lastly, I would like to call Dream from Nalanda House to give her speech against the motion. My dear audience and judges, let me ask you a question. When you pick up a book from a shelf. and you smell it the smell revives some heart warming memories doesn't it touching a book from a third grade takes you back to the classroom but the main question is that an e reader which is a maximum lifespan of 5 years gives you that same feeling books have a more real existence the satisfaction you get by flipping those pages is unmeasurable reading a book creates a memorable experience if you bought a book from a different place it reminds you of that trip books create an emotional relationship with the reader which e-books have completely failed to do there is no need to buy a book you can go to a library borrow it and read it there if you like a book you can loan it or share it with your friends when you complete a book you keep it on your shelf it feels like an achievement people love physical books especially when nowadays they come in such gorgeous covers that they become show pieces Book lovers tend to keep a record of their books by decorating it around at home, creating a library. The books indicate a lot about themselves. While in e-books, no one will ever know which book you're reading. Do you really think e-books can ever replace this experience, especially when many people cannot even afford this technology? Digital media has disrupted in many industries, but people still love physical books. While millennials are sometimes blamed for killing the industry. It's actually the younger people who seem to be popularizing print. Sixty-two percent of the physical book sales in the UK are to the people under the age of forty-four, according to Nielsen. E-books may be convenient, but they are in displacing paper just yet. That's why Naomi Brown found in a research where she surveyed almost five hundred students from across the world, and guess what the results were? Ninety-two percent preferred to do serious reading in books, rejecting e-readers, laptop phones, and tablets. Screen might be a better choice for light reading, but when it comes to heavy reading, like paring through a book from class, books seem to be more safe at the moment. Publishers of books in all formats make 22.6 billion revenue with physical books, while e-books only make 2.04 billion revenue in 2019, according to the Association of American Publishers. These finds suggest that e-books will not be the final nail in the coffin of physical books, but rather a complementary product which shall ultimately benefit the industry. Young people resist e-books because they get distracted, have go through headaches and physical discomfort such as eye strain. Studies have shown that physical books are better for your health as well. E-readers emit light 
which can harm your sleep cycle if read it late at night. This technology is not trustworthy and reliable because of viruses, and you have to keep updating the software. And if you release an e-book, it would get tampered. Now you must be thinking, books are made by cutting trees, so it's harming the environment, right? But I have an answer for that. Publishing industries are switching to reuse papers, and libraries are starting exchange systems. Now I would like to end my stand by saying that the truth is said by Northrop Frye. That the most technologically efficient machine that man has ever invented is the book. Thank you. Judges, please note that this participant has taken three minutes and twenty-six seconds. Truly said, Dream. I agree with you. Flashy ads may lead us up to wrong places. One might start playing games and download gaming app when one was supposed to go through the e-readers, which is again a distraction, a very big distraction. that books do not provide they keep you going to the chapter and to the end with this said interested participants may now ask their questions for the rebuttal round vijay you may ask your question okay reem so you said that we can go to the libraries and then we can read the books right there but don't you think like sometimes if we really want to read some rare books that are not present in the libraries in our area what about then you see there is to be some use of technology you can buy them online or not that it is pretty sure that you if it is not available in library you will get probably get it somewhere around your country that means technology will be used right yes it will be used somewhere you cannot completely reject that especially in this era i accept that point thank you anika you may proceed with your question thank you rashi uh, reem as you mentioned that people are decorating the books and books area and library so don't you think that in today's world people do not have time to do see, such activities you see when you buy a book a book lover will exactly would like to decorate it at uh, around at home first of all like bo the books are not just novels they are like your drawing books from nursery you would like to like to keep them as a memory you would like to decorate them in your room so i don't think that takes that much of time you can do it on a free day yeah they can the people can do but only the books lover and the quantity of books lover are really less in today's world and and if you do not like to decorate the books around your home you can donate it at the library or at an orphanage okay thank you dream was the last participant for today's debate It was indeed a heated debate. The participants have put up their points quite strongly. At this moment, even we feel quite energized to put up our views and discuss upon the various effects of technology over books. If we talk about the current scenario, technology has already taken a major role as an informative resource for all of us. But as a result, this has led to the minimum use of books. and most of us have almost forgotten referring to the various informative books we are aware that the varieties of technology provide us with the required information in a very short span of time but at times the information provided might not be accurate or it can even be wrong what do you have to say about it rashi i believe technology can be useful only when it's utilized in the right way there is no use of it if it's not viewed seriously in this case the schools have been providing us the online classes but there is no use of it in case we're not referring to the books there are many numerous individuals who haven't opened their books since so long and they refer totally on technology to help them which is showing how books have been how books have been started replaced by technologies i remember a quote said by someone that no matter how we advance technologically never abandon a book it's the most beautiful thing we have ever invented in our material world what do you have to say about it ajwal 
I believe that technology has started to supplant the need of physical usage of books. Let's take an example to understand this advantage of e-learning. In case I'm having a light gadget, suppose a smartphone, I can, I can convey each one of my books without increasing the mass of it by a single gram. I can likewise give these books to others without thinking about the quality and amount of offering books to other people. I agree with your point, but don't you think that technology is affecting our eyes on the other hand? Indeed, some are also worried about the mischief of blue light coming out from the gadget. Yet, the arrangement of this issue is likewise accessible as an eye assurance screen and an eye protection option. And this, these options are available in pretty much every smartphone nowadays. In conclusion, I want to say that books online are easier to purchase and the accessibility of books is simpler anywhere, whenever and in any condition. In the present days, when a student is learning from home, this is an incredible open door for them as they can get their favorite books in just a click without venturing outside in the dangerous situation of the world. However, the students should also equally focus on the books if compared to the technology to get the best of the education possible. At this point, we don't know who is right and who is wrong, but I feel that now we should put an end to our conversation. Till the times the results are calculated, I would like to call Sunita ma'am to come upon and share her views about the debate. I would request Sunita ma'am to please come upon and share her views about the debate. Give my mic. Okay. Good morning, everybody present here, and good morning. All the children, it was brilliant to hear you. And you look here. And you look here. see you here. And uh, it was nice to see you all and to uh, come to know the topics you took to the debate. All the children have collected maximum points of the debate, of the point in pros and cons. Everything was very good. You spoke it very clearly and your pronunciation and your uh, body language and your tone, everything was so nice. I'm really blessed to be here today and to hear you all. And uh, I think you have discussed all the topics, pros and cons. Only one point I want to clear on my hand that uh, students were discussing about the trees and environment. In my opinion, Invisible enemies are always more dangerous than the visible. I'd say, if you are cutting trees for the books and the papers, you know that the trees are being cut, you can replace it by planting more and more trees, but the radiation that is spread in the environment, that is invisible, and I think you have to find, or scientists have to find the solution for that. For the time, Books are better, in my opinion, than spreading radiation and harming the environment. It is better to depend more on books and e-books and uh, online learning can be kept it complementary, where the textbooks are not available or you are finding some difficulty with the textbook, go to the e-books and internet and Take it hand in hand. Both are complementary, but basic are the books. The damage to the environment can be replaced or can be recovered by the planting more and more trees. So if you are really concerned about the environment, you can do many things. But I don't think I can do anything against radiation and we stop it if 
uh, internet is so widespread. So thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for your kind words. Ma'am, your suggestions are really worthy. Next, I would like to request our honorable guest, Poonam Sood, ma'am, to ex express her views upon today's event and declare the results as well. Uh, a very warm afternoon to all of you. It uh, is indeed, I would say today, I would say a visual treat to see you all after so many uh, months and, uh, and hear you all. What I want to say is, uh, children, like today, I'm actually surprised and I was just asking your uh, managing man. But uh, these are just junior classes, and you all spoke so well, covering almost the major points. Uh, as it is an online competition, you must have consulted your parents, teachers. But at the same time, I would like to say that uh, major points were covered, and uh, uh, like uh, uh, Ms. Sunita Singh said, uh, permanent damage which is the vibrations of this uh, charge. This is the permanent damage. And uh, if you ask for my opinion, I am so deadly against uh, this uh, technology. And though we cannot survive without them today, it is very important. We are interacting because of it. Today I am seeing all of you smiling faces uh, just because of this technology. But at the same time, I think that there should be some limitations and uh, nevertheless books are always and, um, and we will always be our best companions. Um, but uh, those who spoke against the motion, for the motions, both of you have put valid points and I wish you all the success for your future and uh, God bless you all. Thank you so much. So today I'm happy to uh, uh, announce the results also. We have Ajanta with 96 points at the fourth position and uh, Sanji with 96.5, Tachi at the third position, and uh, Nalanda with 97 points on the second position, and Texana with 97.5 points at the first position. Congratulations to all of you. The best speaker for, for the motion is Sreja Singh, and against the motion is Shivansh. Funding. All of you have done very well. Congratulations to all the participants. You all rocked. Thank you. Am I also request you to hand over the trophy to the teacher in charge of the winning house. Start. I would like all the participants to give a round of applause to the winners. Thank you, ma'am, and congratulations to the winners. Now, I would like respected principal, ma'am, to give a token of love and gratitude 
Now, I would like respected principal ma'am to give our token of love and gratitude to the respected judges. First round, the trophy part, and then uh, Mukti. Announce the trophy part. The winning house, Takshila. Rashi, you too. And now I would request the teacher in charge of Takshila house, the winner house, to collect the trophy. I just want to show the trophy the Texla House one. Okay, so congratulations, student. Now I would like respected principal ma'am to offer our token of love and gratitude to the respected judges. That is over now. You uh, Mukti star. Last but, not, last but not least, I would like Mukti Tek Chandani to propose the vote of thanks. The roots of the plants are bitter, but the fruits are sweeter. And so is an institution that is forming roots for the development and progress of all scholars. Good afternoon, respected uh, judges, honorable teachers, and my dear friends. I, Mukti Tech Chandani of Class 8B, feel privileged to extend my heartfelt gratitude and to thank each one of those who contributed to make this event successful and interactive one. To begin with, I would like to thank our venerate judges for giving their precious time to grace us on this occasion. Next, I would surely like to thank all the participants for showing their great attentiveness, interest, and enthusiasm. A sincere thanks to honorable teachers for their selfless efforts. A special thanks to IT department for technical support and helping us to conduct this event more smoothly and evenly. I would also surely like to thank all you, my dear friends, for being such a spectacular audience and watching the program more patiently. Conducting such an event uh, flawlessly in this crucial time is indeed a challenge. So once again, I would like to thank all of those who contributed to make this event more flourishing. Thank you. 
For this, we come to the end of today's event. Thanks for acknowledging the efforts of our participants. Rashid, video last time.